Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from MySocialU.com and welcome back to my channel. So how do you access your Twitter analytics? How do you read the data? How do you make sense of the data inside your Twitter analytics? That's the topic of today's video. Before we jump into the demo, please subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. All right, now let's jump into today's video. And here I am, first of all, let me show you how to access your Twitter analytics and all the data. So once you're logged into your Twitter account, what you want to do is go to more and then right here you'll see analytics. So click on that and it's going to open another window. And here is all the data for your Twitter account that you're logged in. So let's go through this and then I'm going to point out to a couple of things that I closely pay attention to whether it's for my own Twitter account or the clients or different accounts that we manage at my agency. So first thing on the top is the, the 28 day summary. So this is where we can see how many tweets we sent. So we sent 24 tweets in the last 28 days. It seems like that's up 70%. How many impressions? 130, 113,000 impressions. They were up. How many profile visits we had, how many mentions we had, and how many followers we had. So obviously here, the data that I'm looking for is the growth. If the growing Twitter account is the goal, then I'm paying close attention to this number right here, that in last 28 days, did we increase the followers on, on this account or not? If we did not, then what do we need to change? And by the way, I know all these numbers look green, so it's super nice, but this is month over month. So next month, some of these might be red. So do not get concerned if some of your numbers are in the in the red zone, uh, because this is the comparison of the last 28 days with the previous 28 days. So unless you are always like increasing your input, input, let's say you're always increasing your ads, that's the only time your numbers could always be positive, right? But if you if your strategy is the same month over month, then it's okay to see some negative uh, red numbers. So just FYI. So if we scroll down, so this is the last 28 days. So if I scroll down, this is the data of the last or the current month. So this is the January of 2020. So here's the summary, uh, the top tweet, top mention that we had. So I'm always looking at you know the top mentions. Who are the people who mention our Twitter account? So we can build a relationship with them. Sometimes it's influencers or industry experts if it is then i want to you know you want to reach out to them and it kind of you know further your relationship with them and if you scroll down here is the the previous month now so this is the december 2019 the top tweet top mention top media tweet and then here's the number how many tweets we had how many impressions the mention profile visits and the new followers right so very cool stuff and then you can kind of like go back and see all the data now so we are on the top on the home section so now i'm gonna go to the second um section called or second tab called tweet so let's look at that data so our first of all here's your time frame so you can always you know change it so last 28 days last seven days january december so you can pick the time frame that you want to analyze let's keep it 28 days for the purpose of this video and by the way here's the cool thing you can also export this so if you have a client and let's say you create reports in Excel or maybe PowerPoint, you can export this data and then create different graphs and charts um, that you want to do. So <clears throat> on tweets tab, first of all, you see the Twitter activity. So you can kind of see you know, the, the graph of your Twitter activity. So what, what I pay attention to here is if there are days that we have like more than average, more than normal activity, then I always go back and try to see, okay, what did we tweet on that day? Was it, you know, obviously there, there was something that was relevant to the audience and, you know, we maybe we want to do it more and more. If you scroll down, so first let's talk about the, you know, some graphs uh, on the right hand side. So there's your last 20 days, engagement, link clicks, uh, retweet, likes and replies and obviously the, the thing you want to kind of pay attention to here if you're always going down it's, it's okay to go up and down the sine wave right because it's uh it's a comparison of the last period with the previous period but if you're always going down or if you're always going up you want to understand if you're always going up maybe you know you're doing something right maybe you were not using videos and now you started using videos and because of the, that your engagement rate is up right or maybe you are your engagement is always going down and you always want to make sure you know you understand that you know sometimes if we have ad campaign running and when we turn off when the ad campaign ends 
we turn off the ad, we stop the ad budget, the numbers for, for some time, they start going down. So in, in those cases, it's understandable. Um, and then if you look at the tweets, so here's the, you know, all the tweets and the impressions and the engagement and what's the engagement rate, right? So, and then the section next over is the top tweets. So when you look at that, here's the, the top tweets on, on this account. And obviously, you know, what, what I like to do is make a note of, you know, what's working well, because that's the biggest lesson you can learn from your analytics. What's working for my account or, and what's not working. So you can do more of what's working and do less of what's not working, right? So you can kind of like, you know, see all, all this data right here. And then um, the next one is tweets and replies. And then also if you're running any ad campaigns, I believe we did for this uh, account. So in that case, you'll see the promoted tab and some data there. All right, now let's go back. And now, so we looked at the home tab and then the tweets tab. And now I want to go to the audience tab. So this is where the first of all, you can see kind of like the overview. You know, most of your the, the followers are interested in the science view. That's fine for language English. That's important because if you have too many people in another language and that's not your intention, maybe there's something wrong. Maybe if you're using the ad, sometimes actually it, ha it happens to us. Sometimes we set the ad targeting unintentionally to, to the wrong settings. We, we target someone wrong that we should not. And then, you know, when we look at this data, it's pretty obvious. And then we can always go back and correct that, right? So you can look at the demographic. And here's another thing that, that I pay attention to. So under demographics, so you wanna go to the country, right? So for example, for this account, you know, it seems like the most of our followers or the audience 64% is from the United States. You know, that's really important. If that's the audience that you're going after and it matches here, great if it's not then that means you know there's some adjustments there's some changes that you need to make uh if you're running ads and in the ad settings um if you are not running ads then maybe in the, in the hashtag so you can always learn a lot from your analytics so lifestyle um uh online buyers that's great and then you know most of our traffic is coming from ios devices all of that right all right so this is it we always look at I look at my personal analytics and actually for different clients too on monthly basis because there's so much you can learn from the data. Again, you know, what's working, what's not working because that helps you determine, that helps you decide what type of strategy you need to implement in the future and what do you need to stop doing. So I hope you enjoyed this. So this is how you access the analytics. And by the way, you know, if you log into your uh, Twitter account, you can also just type analytics dot twitter.com and you'll kind of land on the same page let's let you try it so analytics dot twitter.com if you hit enter and then you're on the same page or let me recap you can click on the more and then go to analytics right let's go back here but this is how you can access your analytics look at what's working look at the data of the last 28 days of in previous months and also understand what type of tweets content is working, where you, your audience is coming from, uh, what type of countries, what language do they, do they speak. So there's a lot of data that you can look at, analyze, and then you know use to improve your marketing campaigns for the future. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions related to Twitter marketing, Twitter ads, Twitter analytics, leave those questions in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.